Hey guys, Thunder E here, and as you guys know quite well, we tend to go back to a couple of devices that we've used uh, over the past couple of months to see how well they fare, and it's no exception with the new Surface Pro. Now the new Surface Pro, which is kind of an odd name, is, I kind of call it Surface Pro 5 to most people. Uh, this is the latest Surface Pro from Microsoft and uh, it has a couple of new features in it. Besides the new processor, you've got a brand new processor in there. You've also got more RAM um, uh, placements if you want to. So I have a Quad 7 variant here. I have 5 to 12 gigabytes of RAM, um, storage, RAM, not RAM, storage and I do have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this thing packs a lot of punch for me. There's also a brand new Surface Pen uh, that gives you 4,096 points of touch. Really good for writing, really good for sketching if you do. I don't sketch, uh, but you can do a lot of those things with the new Surface Pen. Uh, something I didn't talk about in my original video, but uh, that's something that I've come to use quite well and I do enjoy using on the new Surface Pro. Now you can use it on older devices too. Uh, it's just that with the new Surface Pro, you do have that ability to access those 4,096 points of touch on your Surface Surface. Now, uh, in terms of my day-to-day -day use, how do I like using this device? Now, I travel with this a lot. This is my travel device. I like it because it's really light. I, you can see in this video, I'm just flipping it around. I'm not going to toss it off because I might miss catching it, but it is a light device to carry around, and that's great when you're traveling. If you're in the airport, you got to pull it out of your backpack throw it in into the TSA scanner. This is something that's easy to actually do. Also, you can pick up the new Alcantara uh, keyboard cover here, which is really nice. And Microsoft has really pushed this. And I have to say, it's worth it. It's just stylish, it's nice, it feels comfortable. It doesn't feel, you know, one, ha one half of the device, you've got this, you know, um, uh, metallic feel to it. And the other half is this nice fabric feel as well. So it gives you this you know, dual dichotomy there. Really nice uh, and great functionality. In terms of just the day-to-day -day use, I do like Windows Hello, the ability to just open up my Surface and then just look at it and of course it unlocks and that's it, done. I don't have to type in a password. So you know what Apple is basically pushing with uh, the iPhone X. We've been doing it on the Surface for quite a while and uh, it does it quite well with this. But it's you know uh, dark or it's, it's you know it's uh, a daytime, doesn't matter, works out very well. Now, just the keyboard works, you know, the performance has been solid. I, it, whatever I mentioned in my first video in terms of performance, it still does the same in terms of day-to-day -day use, watching videos on there. Um, also, uh, the fact that you get about 10 hours of battery life. You get about 10, maybe 10 and a half, depends on my use. And I like that. I like that I can take a trip cross country, use it on a plane for six hours and still have four hours of juice left. Uh, which is great. You do have a couple of ports on the device, a USB port, a mini uh, display port, and uh, you've got the proprietary power port, which is actually good because the fact that it stayed the same from previous Surface devices, Surface users uh, don't have, feel like they have to buy a new accessory. Also, micro SD expansion is great on the device if you get a, a version with smaller storage, so you can actually expand it via micro SD cards, and now we've got a 400 gigabyte micro SD card, so uh, you can throw that in there, which is a good thing. Like overall, it's it's a great device uh, if you're on the road to actually do some work with, um, also just have a nice light computing device. What's cool about this is also that you can do some gaming. I mean, the Xbox uh, and um, Windows Live Gaming, or Windows Gaming is crop platform, so look up a game like Cuphead, you know, you're not gonna run it at the same rate as the Xbox. You can definitely play, die as much as possible and still enjoy that whole experience. That's what you get with the new Surface Pro. And I like that. I, again, it's, it's a solid thing, a solid system, something that it's great to travel with, something that gives you some really good performance, uh, your day-to-day, -day. and they've got different SKUs. I believe still starting from a Core M all the way to a Core i7, which I have here, and you get the kind of performance you want to do with it at either point. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know. I'll try and answer them for you. But after four months of using this device, I say, yes, it's a solid, device all the way through and definitely still worth picking up. So if you want to do that, use our Amazon link down below. We have that for you. And if you want to check out some other stuff or pick up from Amazon, definitely use the Amazon store a link. You guys can use that. It would be great supporting us on the channel and you're not actually spending any more money. Uh, other than that, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.